Put your seatbelts on. We're going to move quickly. Uh, and I will share with you what's new in Teams Toolkit. If you've been here for the past several months, uh, some of this will be pretty familiar to you. We've had um, Gary and Aisha on a lot to demonstrate many of the new features. Um, so I wanted to take this time just to kind of recap what's happened over the roughly the past three months with Teams Toolkit and highlight some of the big things that we've released. Um, but for anyone who's new and maybe isn't, doesn't know what the heck I'm talking about, uh, this is what Teams Toolkit is. It is our pro code developer tools and also includes an SDK uh, that is focused on simplifying Teams app development. That includes creating, building, hosting, and publishing Teams apps. Um, and there's a couple ways that we're trying to do that right now, and that's with uh, quick start experiences. So we have project templates uh, that really help you jumpstart how you get started with specific uh, Teams apps that you can then transform into whatever business scenario you need to complete. Um, and then we have uh, some tooling features that make building and debugging, so running in Teams, debugging that code a little simpler. And uh, we also and also automate some of the configuration so you can spend less time in the Teams developer portal right away and Azure portal and configuring all these different things and app IDs and, and just kind of jump right into code. So the toolkit helps you do that. And then uh, we also have an optional uh, set of features in the toolkit that provides some smart defaults for hosting in Azure using an infrastructure as a code approach. So we basically uh, all of our templates have uh, bicep files that come with them to help you uh, get started and if you want to deploy that to Azure using the toolkit. Um, that's optional. You don't have to use that, but uh, we do provide it. The toolkit's available both VS Code and Visual Studio 2022. So depending on which uh, stack you want to build with, you want to build with JavaScript, TypeScript, Node, uh, visit the VS Code toolkit. That's what we focus on there. And if you're a .NET developer, then uh, check it out in Visual Studio 2022. Real quick, um, if you want to get that for VS Code, it's in the marketplace. So just go ahead and search it like you would um, for any other extension to Teams Toolkit. And then for Visual Studio, uh, it's in the VS installer. So you'll just click on the ASP.NET and web development workload. If you don't already have that, you'll want to install that. And then you can see here on the right-hand side, there's a little checkbox that says Microsoft Teams Development Tools. That's an optional component. That is the Teams Toolkit. You check that, and then you will have the Teams Toolkit installed as a very small download. So should shouldn't take too long. Okay, that's how you get what I'm talking about. So what's new with what I'm talking about? First thing is uh, we released a new sample app, I think back in September. Um, it was uh, Gary, I think has demoed that. Um, so Gary Trinder also released that and it's in the Teams FX samples repo, um, which I put an AKA link there for you. You can check that out. That's where all of our Teams toolkit specific samples um, are. And it's really just an example uh, like stock ticker, you know, check prices and adaptive card uh, shows you some ways to authenticate um, with an API key to a public API and, and uh, just kind of helps uh, complete out more samples uh, for Teams Toolkit. So check that out if you're interested in uh, samples. We've also been working on improving the Teams FX SDK and the things that we see developers doing. So there's been uh, several quality of life improvements. This is one of them. Uh, we're trying to make it simpler to add single sign on to bots and message extensions. So we already have um, what I feel is, and what we hear from uh, you folks is a pretty simple SDK for doing SSO with tabs. So we're trying to do the same thing for bots. So here's um, an example of what that looks like. So we've uh, basically have uh, this uh, Teams FX bot SSO command handler. And then we the, the change we did is we've broken out um, with these interfaces for the way you configure the authentication scheme so you can do different types of authentication here here you see we have the obo credential and uh, basically three lines of code here and then i i cut out um, some of the parameters so that way the code would fit on the slide so you could see it a little nicer so the important thing here is you basically have the credential then we have um, some methods to help you get an authenticated graph client using that and then you can go ahead and uh, call graph uh, the way you normally would the graph with the graph client and, and do whatever um, your scopes allow you to do so that helps make that a little easier, hopefully. We also released a new project template. So that's the workflow bot. Um, again, if you were here uh, a few weeks ago, we uh, Gary showed pretty in depth on how that is. So you can look for that video if you wanna see how that works. But basically uh, the template helps you create an application that will trigger some adaptive cards with actions in them. So here you see there's a button, do stuff. When you click do stuff, um, you get a response and then you can basically change that adaptive card to display differently. So uh, the way we've imagined um, folks can use this is 
we hear developers building lots of like sequential workflow type apps where they want to do something like um uh, I don't know, like Q and A, Q&A, or they want to do something like a ticket system, um, something like that. So this could help you build out uh, whatever you want, but this this helps you get started with that type of flow. A few weeks ago, we also changed uh, how we expose debugging. So if you're familiar with uh, VS Code Task.json, you can do this now uh, with Teams Toolkit. Basically, we expose each step of the de like what debugging means with the toolkit. And this is based on feedback um, we got. It's like, uh, hey, when I press F5 of the toolkit, what the heck is happening? And how do I customize it? Because I don't want it to do certain things that it's doing. So now we've exposed all those steps as uh, in a way we, we felt was familiar. And with your feedback, we've changed it to be uh, task.json driven. So you can go ahead and customize um, each step here. Like I just put a, I just put an example here from our documentation. Show you like if you don't want to run ngrok, then you could comment that out and it just makes it a little simpler. Change your ports, that kind of stuff. Um, on the left here, the table just shows all the steps, like all the tasks that are possible to customize. So basically, this is like a sequence of all the things that we do when you press F5. And so you can go ahead and customize them um, in the task.json file. So look for that. Uh, we'll. We're also going to bring the same type of customization um, in, a, in the Visual Studio extension in a way that's uh, familiar with .NET developers. Don't quite know how that looks at the moment, but um, we're working on building that feature. There's also uh, a new feature here for you to be able to add SSO to your projects later. If you decide when you scaffold, you don't want SSO, but then you say, hey, uh, I'd like to add it. Um, do I need to create a whole new project? No, you can use the toolkit um, commands so available both VS and VS code. There's basically some menu options here to add um, the scaffolding that we do later. And then there's some documentation that pops up to tell you each of the steps you need. to. And I believe Gary walked through that as well recently, at least in the VS code scenario. I think he walked through that and demonstrated all the steps that are required to add SSO using the toolkit and Teams FX SDK after the fact. So trying to make that a little simpler um, today. So there's some menu options for there. Um, and there's some other stuff here that we changed recently um, for SVFX developers. We now, uh, our scaffold uh, can now do multi-tab Teams apps, um, and there's a way to do that via the add features. Just like you can add feature, add SSO, there's another way to do this uh, for SVFX projects, which is another way that we can choose to scaffold. So our scaffolds in VS Code, you can just scaffold with React or SVFX. Um, and then we recently bumped uh, Teams FX SDK to two, Dot o, and that was really to align with uh, the teams. Oh, I made a typo here. It's supposed to be teams uh, JS 2.x. Uh, sorry about that. Um, so that way it's compatible with teams JS. And that also helps us be able to deploy to Office and Outlook and um, use all the new uh, manifest and everything. And then there's some additional quality of life improvements on um, the Teams FX SDK and a bunch of little stuff um, that we just get feedback on and um, in the repo. So you can take a look at the change log to see all the things there. A uh, big thing to talk uh, to let you know about is what's next. Um, so that everything I just discussed was things that are already available today. But what's next is we're we're getting a uh, you know a lot of feedback on more like make the toolkit more transparent. There's lots of opaque things that it does, and we need to customize it. And we totally understand that. So we've been um, working with uh, developers to figure out exactly how to do that. And so we've come up with. Uh, Basically, we're going to take everything the toolkit does and expose it in a way that can be config driven. And so the first iteration of that is available um, in, in an alpha state on the GitHub repo for the VS Code extension. There's a uh, there's an alpha release available for this. You could you could play with if you wanted to. But right now, we're, we're kind of uh, just testing that internally. Um, basically, we have something that looks a lot like uh, like uh, an Azure DevOps YAML or GitHub Actions file um, that's very similar kind of uh, layout. So we have this YAML file that describes all the different steps of the toolkit. So this is the other things like like earlier we talked about debugging. This is the lifecycle like end to end um, pieces that the toolkit does, which is like provisioning, deploying, um, registering the app with Teams Developer Portal, configuring the Azure AD manifest, and and uh, linking all those things together, and like the bot framework registrations, things like that. Um, we're going to expose all of those steps so that they could be customized. I think this is. This is cool because if you want to use, um, let's say you don't want to use um, our provisioning with Azure and Bicep, you could swap this out to use maybe something you'll already do, like, hey, run this PowerShell script um, and, and it's like stuff you already do, or um, you know, use some other CLI tool that's 
um, like AZD, CLI, or Terraform, or whatever you want to do, you could uh, put those steps in here. And we'll have examples of how you could do some of those popular things that we get feedback on. So this is coming. Like I said, there is an alpha available. I'll have more information. And I think we'll come back and demonstrate that when we're a little further along. And then also, we have an RC available um, for VS to do the same type of thing. Um, so we're trying to align both VS code and VS projects to adopt this kind of app model so you can configure it. And I'll come back and demonstrate uh, exactly how that works. So uh, that's what I have to share with you. I don't have time to jump into any code right now, but there's lots of things you can find on the internet for Teams de development But I, and Teams FX. I put this link here. You can just jump into our GitHub repo. Um, from there, you'll be able to find everything that you need. And that's all I have. Excellent. Thank you so much, John, for sharing today. Um, we'll be sure to invite you back for a future session so that you can dive into a little bit more of the updates or other things that are coming along. So Perfect. Uh, appreciate that so much. Thank you.